This video is all about how you deal with building a web page having logged in and registered into your new site. In this particular site you can see the word cPanel which is here and you can see a whole selection of different things that you might want to be doing. Now initially in this particular video you'd normally see the option of a set of videos and I suppose most guys would turn around and say well, hang on a minute actually I just want to go down to the bed place and get on with it because there's that many different things that you could actually be doing. So I'm going to take you straight to what's called the file manager here. You'll see fairly quickly why I go straight to here because all right, we've got all this information here, but we've got the button go, so let's go to go. What we're actually going to do is set up a page, and I'm going to take it directly off some source coding that I have elsewhere. So you're going to see the beginnings of a template. Now, from the template, you can actually design something that's going to really be effective for the new file. So we're going to set up a new file on this particular web page that will actually undertake various things for us. So here we have the new option of creating a HTML file and that's what I'm going to create. I'm going to create a HTML file. Okay we don't need any capital letters, let's put it in the lowercase. So it's VOIP.html Okay, this creates a VOIP page. Now, this could be any page. If you just opened up, you'll probably actually first need to create what's called an index page. Uh, and that will be the page that you go to. Looking at this page you have here, the file manager, this looks complicated enough, but can be reduced to something very simple. Code editing. Um, is something that's very useful if you have a good command of HTML source code and various other codes but I'm actually going to click on here to the voip.html code that you've already you can see and I've created I'm now going to click on HTML editor as I say take into consideration this is a, a package that uh, is available to lots and lots of people and you will see that we've got the button edit. By clicking on here, you're going to see something that really comes down to the bare basics of website design. Um, the reason we say that is because it's going to give us a number of options. It's going to give us the option of actually taking something and creating something as a bare basic part of your web page. If you have any form of web design that you're interested in, it'll come in two or three formats. One is the design, one is the code, and one is the publish. What we're going to look at is something called add-on. Okay, let me explain have on the page here. We have the editing section of the actual website itself. You have the design, the source, and the preview. Let me click on here. This is going to give you the source page. I'm then going to look at the source page on a pre website. As you can see here, you have search energy here. We're going to click it and we're going to store a page. And two words, you can go to edit and select all, but I've actually done it using the um, like dragging it down. But I'll copy it. So you can see it again, we go back down here, we go to this particular page, uh, and you'll see that there's P for the paragraph, the space. So what I'm going to do is delete the whole lot. We're in the source bit, as you can see from the further down, the source bit is highlighted. I'm now going to click on that, I can allow access from the clipboard, and you can see that within a matter of seconds we can actually get the design that we were looking at. You will see this bit missing because this is an image but you can also see that we have the welcome message section. 
Now, the language here, <laughs> I believe is Latin or Greek or something. Um, the, you can actually see here we have the option of inserting an image. You can also see here the option to insert, insert the image itself. Um, by clicking on the button you can then get that image option. Very very simple, very, very easy to operate. As I say we're not looking at a complicated program section here but you can also note uh, that we have the option to upload the image. Now I'm going <laughs> to take the self-portrait mode option, nice and easy picture, but I'm also aware, wow look at the dimensions here. I know I don't want those dimensions so I'm going to take it down to a lot smaller image. I'm actually going to take it down to 170 pixels versus 227. Now that's the pixel level, you'll know you've got the percentage level, but let's just go for the pixel level here. And there you have inside here we have the picture, actually after, we have the design itself, and we have the option to move it around, we have the option to make it larger. Now at this point in time you have here the HTML source code that you're uploading to, you have this save option and you have a welcome message. Now we're calling this page IP and as you're probably aware if you've looked at any of the other videos we have a selection of videos so I could if I wanted to insert another image there and possibly produce the YouTube videos that have all been already been created. But what I'm actually going to do at this stage is to save. This then saves the actual image that we want, uh, the graphic content of the site. We can come out in the media reviews here. Um, again, as I say, this is not necessarily the um, option everybody else is going to go for. A lot of people will say, oh, why don't you stick directly with what you have using VOIP? But you can see it's a simple method of uploading uh, material from the site and going directly to what you need. So I'm hoping that's of some help. You can exit from those sections and actually check the page and see how it's going on. And hopefully it will solve uh, some of the issues that you might have had when you first looked at the page. Thank you for watching the video.